I have rebuilt this axle and freshened it up mainly just to put disc brakes on the front of it. And I've decided to make another video that just shows you how to disassemble the hub and put it back together. I've got all the screws loose. Give it a little knock, it should come loose. There's a keeper ring right here in a groove that usually pries out fairly easy with a screwdriver. Let's see. See it? There we go. All right. There's another ring holding the flange in. You need this four lug spindle nut socket to remove the locking ring and bearings. Okay, it's broke loose. I should just be able to turn it out by hand. Let's speed it up a little bit. being a little stubborn but it's starting to move so I'm just gonna try a little bit it's coming out I think maybe it's hung up on the brake pads a little bit so if I could have figured out how to adjust that adjuster to loosen those brake drums through that hole maybe it would have been so tough but I got it All the work's been done. I'm ready for final assembly. I'm installing my repacked bearing. Okay, I got my bearing and my seal on the hub. Now we take the inner bearing, slide that over the spindle. Now we've got two of these rings. They look almost the same, except one of them has a pin sticking out of it. That one goes on first with a pin out. You torque the wheel bearing adjusting nut to 50 foot pounds. There we go, 50, and then back it off 90 degrees. Your next step, you have to put that key into the slot on the spindle, slide it in, and that pin that was sticking out has to fit in one of those holes. So you might have to turn it just a little bit. This lock ring, the one without the pin, has to be tightened to 80 to 100 foot pounds. To complete the locking hub assembly, we put in the spring and retaining ring. Ring, it's wide on one end and there on the other. The wide end goes in first. And then this goes in on top of it. It has splines that engages the outer, of, outer part of the hub. This one has splines that engage the axle. And the spring keeps it pushed together. You have the actuator that pushes in against the spring and disengages it. The locking hub mechanism needs to go on. Then you got to get this ring on and get it into the groove that's in there. Now that's retained in there. After you have both clutches in there and retained with the ring. Then the actuator goes in. That's what separates those two halves. And that actuator can go about anywhere you want it. New ring. Point the arrow at the lock.
That's where the indentation goes over that. Now you got the relationship. Now you gotta put this on. Now after you get that in, you have a lock ring that goes in. And there it is in. New O-ring around this. Line her up. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video and found it useful.